I've now been at SCBC for, I think it's 23 years, and it's been wonderful. And before I came here, I did some training, and as part of my training, I spent two terms serving God over in Calcutta, in India. I'd never been to India before, I'd never been on the mission field before. And those two terms of service at different times and with different organisations in Calcutta were amazing. I learned so much about myself, I learned so much about God and my temperament and my spirituality. I learned so much about his world, the beauty, the diversity, but also the poverty and the struggles. My times there will stay with me forever. And my first term there I worked with an Indian organisation. They concentrated on working with street children. We were in the slums of Calcutta, so there were many thousands and millions of street children. They had programs that would feed them, would clothe them, would wash them, would educate them. They had various schools, they had orphanages, lots of things going on. Amazing ministry and I got to be part of it. And at the end of that trip, some of the teachers at the school that I'd been working at went for a picnic and we went by the Hooghly River uh, in the middle of Calcutta and we were sat there, we were eating our lunch and it was great. And then one of the women next to me grabbed my hand. I thought, okay, maybe this is, this is just her being friendly and saying hello. And as she grabbed it, she started looking at my palm. And then she said, wow, gosh, your future looks good. And all of a sudden it, it, it clicked in my mind, oh, you're reading my palm. And I said, oh, uh, thanks, but I'm all right. I don't really want to know what my future's got. Thank you ever so much. And she looked at me like I was a little bit odd, but it was okay. And I was with another English girl and she had seen what was going on and she's like, read my palm, read my palm. I really want to know what my future is going to be. So the woman was like, fine, come here, bring me your hand. So she studied her hand for a few moments and then she looked up with this look of horror upon her face. And she said, maybe now isn't the time for us to be reading each other's palms. And my friend was, why, why, what's wrong, what's wrong? And she could tell that this woman thought that there was going to be some horrendous event that was going to befall her. And my friend was really bothered by it. And she kept saying to me, I just want to know that everything is going to be all right in the future. I just want to know that it's all going to work out. And I think many of us can resonate with that. We go into 2021, we don't know what the future holds. We wish we did. We wish there were some clear signs. We wish we had it all mapped out in front of us, that we knew the things that were going to jump out and upset us, that we knew what the course of this year would be like. And not knowing makes us feel quite uncomfortable, quite unnerved. And what I want to do is to encourage us to not look at our palms for the future and for security, but to look to God to look to his palms, to look to his hands, because the Bible tells us that there is so much confidence that we can get for today, for this moment, for the moments ahead, from reflecting on God, living in the present, and knowing who we are and who is with us. In the Bible, in Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 16, it says, See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hand. When we make a decision to follow Jesus, when we say, yes, I want to go your way, our names are engraved upon the palms of his hand. They can never be removed. They can never be rubbed out. They are there. We are his. Just knowing that, just knowing that whatever we do, whatever unfolds in this year ahead, that's not going to change. That engraving stays on his hands, that you and I are his. If we look at Isaiah 41, verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And then on to verse 13. For I, the Lord your God, Hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not. I am the one who helps you. God is the one who will help us in this year ahead. What God asks us to do is to put one foot in front of the other, 
just gently reach out, hold his hand and say, I want to walk with you. I want to trust you. That whatever today, tomorrow, this week ahead, this year ahead has in store for me. I'm going to trust that I am yours, that you are sufficient, that you will meet me, that you will help me, that you will hold me, that ultimately you will help me to conquer in this lifetime or the next. So let's remind ourselves of the palms of God, that we are his, we cannot be snatched from him, and that with his right hand he grabs us, he says walk with me, fear not, for I am with you.